Flee! We got the heck out of there. And so their journey begins. Fleeing from their home, their future is uncertain. The airship, the marvel of Sid's genius, gives the Lufenian people hope. Six months have passed. The Lufenian people built a small village. Come, start your journey. Return the light of peace to our world. Programmed by Illy. Character designed by Ocean's Dream. Scenario by Illy. Production by RMN A Team. Alright, here we are in Luf Lufenia or wherever. It's been a long time since we had to leave the Sky Castle. Are you doing well, Guardian? I am doing fine. We'll make our way back someday. We just need to wait for Sid to devise a plan of action. That's actually why I'm here. Sid has asked for us. Apparently he's come up with something. We should make our way to the lab in the northeast corner of town. Okay. What do you guys gotta say? Welcome back to Lufenia, Guardian. Where were we from before? We've been hiding out here for nearly half a year now. When will we get to return home to the Sky Castle? Daggers can make you more agile, but rods and staves can increase your magic power. Interesting. I didn't really check to see if I could equip any of these things I found. Oh, this one's up more attack. I don't know what other possible options there would be for those kind of things. You can use the iron if you wish. It only slightly lowers your end. And perhaps we'll find out more about weapon perks from other people. Oh, wait. Staves can increase your magic power. Yeah. But when it's an increase of, like, one point? Come on. If you're looking to rest and recover, a visit to a town's local inn is the way to go. You can even record your progress after sleeping there. The same goes for tents, cabins, and houses. You needed an apostrophe on the towns there. Without the power of the wind, we cut up to relearn old ways of living. The town of Gaia lies far to the north, but without the airship, we cannot cross their mountain valley. Many of the robots fell when we fled from the Sky Castle. One can only wonder what happened to those that still remain. Corrupted by evil. What's with this design of the bridge? It's like, do you think you got it, guy? Uh, hold on. Do you know your weapons? Falchions and daggers are weaker but more accurate. Axes are stronger but less accurate. Swords, hammers, and blades are average at both. Okay. Hmm. I guess that's just stuff to keep in mind. We can go downstairs? I don't remember there being a downstairs in the original. So that's kind of interesting. What are you guys gonna say? I'm protecting the chime. Without it entering the Mirage Tower is impossible. Ah. Oh. Sid kept the floater on his person and hid the airship in a cave to the north for safekeeping. Sid learned the common language of the surface dwellers from a family in Melmond. I see he has taught you the language as well. He's working on a Rosetta Stone to teach them Lufenian. Nice! They're tying it into the lore and such. Move it, guy! Oh my god! So I guess we can check out the shops before we get downstairs. The clinic. Who shall be revived? Uh, everyone is fine? I'm backing out. Goodbye. What do you have? Welcome. What you got? Armor. I've got some cash to throw around. Beat up a lot of him. Alright, we'll get a cloth for you. For Ruby, I meant. And, uh, well, let's see. Chain is probably stronger. So let's get that for Garland. Why would I buy wooden? Perhaps later there will be someone who can only wear wooden. Yeah, this is not as good. We're gonna give this to you. Still got a fair chunk of money to throw around. Well, what do you got? Uh, let's see. We've already got an iron. And a wooden. We don't have an iron uh, falchion yet, I guess is what that is. They said this is more accurate. But it's a little weaker. I guess I'll see how much weaker it is. Still in 10 G's. Why not? We don't have an iron, whatever this is either. What are you? I'm gonna buy all these things. Might buy the wooden too, you know what? We're gonna. Unless it says it's lower. 
You know what, I'll buy it anyway. <laughs> They're really not that pricey. Also, I wanted to, like, look at the weapons. So let's just see here. That's a steep drop in power, man. Uh, so is that. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to give up all that stuff just for those. And what about you? You can only use the wooden. Okay. Yup. And the chain, yeah, I kind of figured. There's, but there's no real drawbacks to the chain either, at least from what I can see on that screen, so... Um... Uh, stay to save your data. Not just yet. Let me finish running around. Who will learn the spell? Ah, uh, looks like neither of us can learn these spells. But we've got Fire, Lightning, Sleep, and Lock available to us. Good to know. You can just learn some white magic? Oh, we can both learn these. How interesting. The ruse. If eight attacks for a short time, self only. Raise defense for one ally. Deals light damage to all undead. And recovers a light amount of HP. Hmm. Well, you can never have enough curing people, so I'm gonna get that for Garland at the very least. Now let me just see what's in the last shot before I spend all my dough. Oops, didn't mean to pause. Ooh, ah. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I kind of want to enter that shop. Can you get out of the way? Alright, now don't move up. Good. And right, here we've got healing items. Uh, can remove poison. Kind of pricey for healing items. It restores 500 HP and allows you to save. Eh. I would rather have spells than supplies. We'll probably find supplies out of treasure chests and such. So let's see. We already got a cure for Garland. Uh, yeah, might as well. Look at that for her. Risk defense for one ally. Uh, I would like to have one for somebody, but I'm just not sure who. And then there's Ruse. Fade attacks for short time, self only. I mean, this sounds like it's a good thing to have too. Honestly. But who should I give it to? Just because anyone can learn these doesn't mean we should. Uh, well, I'm gonna give this to you, because you're more magic-oriented. Uh, racist defense for one ally. Um... Uh, having our healer be evasive definitely seems like a good call. I just don't know if I want to give all the magic to her. She does have more MP. How much do these things cost, anyway? They're all about ten. Uh, uh, but we'll... And you only know Cure so far. Hmm... I want him to have another magic. Yeah, sure. There, they've both got something to work with. Let's save, and then we'll go talk to Sit. Stay to save your data. Drop my first save of the game. Guardian, you don't speak much of the Sky Castle. Do you think Sid will get us back home? I am sure he will devise a way for us to defeat Tiamat and return home. Right now, it is probably too dangerous without the power of the wind. Yes, you are probably right. He has always had the solutions in the past. You should rest, Ruby. You will need our skills to make these plans work, I'm sure. Of course, Guardian. We get little end cutscenes too. How nice. Well, video game. I had to press the button. Don't forget if you leave your game, turn power off. Oh, there was more to that statement. Whatever, it's fine. Can I leave? Sid has requested an audience with us. We should head to the northeast part of town. I don't want to leave. Ah, fine. Let's go see what Sid has to say. Sid continues his research down here. Okay. Sid, I'll talk to you last. The master programmed me to protect the cube. It's the key to entering the Sky Castle from the Mirage Tower. These are strange crystal orbs. Or, there are strange crystal orbs. It is rather what it says. Candles. Is, are these the crystals before they became the ones the heroes collect? I can't talk to him through the chair. God, I am glad you have come. 
I must talk to you about the elements. Half a year ago, we lost the power of Winch to Tiamat and fled to our new home of Lufenia here. We must act. I was there, man. I saw it happen. I am deeply concerned that now that we've lost control of the wind, it is a sign that more evil is coming. Surely there will be an other fiends like Tiamat soon. Look at these orbs. They are made of crystal, and I've built them to harness the power of the four elements. It must come from a pure source of power, however. We must take them to the four original places of elemental power, namely, the four Eidolons of elements themselves. We must claim their power in order to stop fiends such as Tiamat. We shouldn't start here, however. I fear that Tiamat has grown too powerful at this time. I know that the Eidolon of Fire, Ifrit, lies at the heart of the Gurgu Volcano to the south. We should make our way to Crescent Lake and look for more allies to help us power these orbs. Head to the Wind Cave to the north and retrieve the airship. I hid it there. You will need this floater to make the vessel fly. Thanks, man. Go retrieve the airship from the Wind Cave to the north. Will do. Awesome. Let's go. Got our assignment from Sid. Oh, we got this one, right? Yeah. That was fun. Nice. Okay. Uh, so he said that was what? To the north? I should go south. And be rebellious. Can I save from the menu? That would be nice. No, oh, it's disabled. Yeah. So what kind of monsters live out here, huh? Monsters! The imps are back! Yeah. Uh, even with the slight power boost I gave her with that weapon, she can't do it. Bonk. Yeah, it seems to be doing too bad. If the accuracy gets unbearable, I might switch to less powerful, more accurate weapons, but we'll see how things go. Wolves! Ah, the wolves. We'll see if she can beat one in two hits, like the imps. Get them. Oh, yeah. They're not much different. <sighs> here. Hmm, which way do I want to go around this lake? I don't actually know. The Grim? Not the Grim. Ah, even the Grim is no match for me. Although I think I was just one-shotting them before anyway. Garland is just too strong for them. You might say he would knock them all down. Ah. There, we got the reference out of the way. I don't have to worry about it ever again. Um, which way? Hello, building. Treasure. The box is 200 Gs. And a heal. Nice. Who I? Uh-oh. Undead. Alright, so... Uh, I don't know if these are the stunning kinds of zombies, but... I want to get rid of them. Alright, he was able to kill that in one hit. Hmm. It does hit all. Hey, look at that. Nice. Oh, we hit level three. Okay, so we open those boxes. What's up here? Uh, another building. Treasures. A cap. A tent. A scimitar. And a wooden. Alright. Well, hold on. Can, can you wear the cap? Yeah, you can. You'd better. I reckon. I haven't found any better weapons for you yet. You can have that wooden shield, sure. And nothing quite tops the power we have from this thing. Ha, ah, iron boosts our speed, but so slightly for such a high attack drop. Like, why? I don't want trade off like that. Bones. Let me just see how tough they are. Because if they're not that tough, I'm not going to cast harm on them. Save it for, like, more threatening targets. Yeah, these guys aren't so bad. If we get, like, a whole room full of them like before, maybe I'll consider it. But, yeah, it pays to ration sometimes. It's a lot of Zambos. And yet we can still defeat them in one hit, so... Yeah, they're not terribly threatening. Terrible at something, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. We have 
made it both ways around. I think we met up here, so let's go. Zambos. Oh, he missed. Look at that. It finally happened. That's only like the first miss we've seen from him. Her her weapons have missed a couple times. So far, I'm satisfied with the accuracy, that's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> In before, I missed something really important. I mean, like, I'll be attacking an enemy, and it'll miss, and it'll be a critical miss, and we'll die. I don't know which is worse, the bones or the zombies. She took out that bone all by herself, though, so I'm happy for that. Aha, so crits do exist. That was absolutely a crit. They seem pretty rare so far, though. But another heal. Nice of them to build all these little shacks for their items. Oh, we even get a first strike sometimes. Super nice. So I guess imps have about 30 HP. Considering I'm pretty sure I saw her hit one for 29 before and it survived. And that one died from 31. You can see the airship resting below. Use the floater to take it to the surface. Now. Yes. We can airship now. Well said. I see you've succeeded in your endeavor. Please give me the floater. We will make plans to head to Crescent Lake immediately. Take these crystal orbs and meet me outside. We must power these orbs and stop Tiamat. We should call ourselves the Sky Warriors to honor our ancestors from the Sky Castle. Did Sid join me? No, he's just plain gone. He vanished. The master programmed me to protect the cube. If the key don't have Yep, you already said that. What do you have to say? Sky Warriors, magnificent. Oh, that's nice. Yep, that's us. How are we, how are we looking? We've got 654 Gs. Do I want to buy more spells? Um, we don't need everyone to know everything, really. But like, uh, you know, let's just let's just be conservative for the time being. We'll hang on to our money. So where's, where, 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 where are we going? It's going on its own. I cannot control the path. 